Well, I'm going from savory to sweet. French toast is a brunch favorite, but one challenging thing about it is standing over the stove and making individual pieces for your guests, especially when you have a few guests. So that's when French toast casserole is a lifesaver. And I am gonna make a lemon blueberry version that is out of this world good. Everyone loves it from kids to big kids. I'm just adding things to the pitcher to make the custard. And it's eggs, mascarpone, whole milk, brown sugar, and a generous amount of vanilla and then lemon zest, which just really brightens and makes the whole thing taste super fresh. Now, instead of going in with a whisk, I'm gonna use an immersion blender because it's going to make everything really, really smooth. This is not gonna take long at all, and it really mixes in the mascarpone with the eggs really, really well. And it's just fun to use. I love an immersion blender. All right, that is the custard. Mm, it smells so good. So I sliced a bunch of slices of potato bread in half, and I just shingled the slices in the baking dish. And it's just so easy to do it that way. You could use sourdough bread. You could use ciabatta. Honestly, the great thing about French toast casserole is you can use leftover bread. So you could do a mix, lots and lots of options. So I'm pouring this just so it goes over every little surface of the bread. I don't want there to be any dry bread at all. Now for the blueberries, I am using frozen blueberries, which are amazing. You can use fresh and of course you can go the blackberry root, raspberries, anything goes. So at this point, if I were making this ahead of time, I would cover it with plastic wrap and put it in the fridge overnight and then just get up in the morning and stick it in the oven. But I am gonna press on and I'm gonna put this in the oven for 45 minutes at 350 and then I'll make a sweet, delicious glaze. The French toast is almost ready, so I am gonna make this delicious and very simple lemon glaze to go over the top once it comes out. It kind of takes the place of the syrup, but you are more than welcome to add syrup as well. You can also add butter if you like. <laughs> One thing I'm not gonna do is judge what you do with your French toast casserole, because I've probably done it too. All right, basically you just wanna add lemon juice to powdered sugar, and it's a process because you wanna get it to a drizzle consistency. Okay, that looks like the perfect glaze right there. So I'm gonna grab the casserole out of the oven. Mmm, it smells good. It smells like brunch. <laughs> Woo, boy, that looks delicious, I love how this looks with those shingled slices of bread. And look at the little crusty points that are sticking up. It's just the way I like it. All right, time for the glaze. And I'm just gonna tip the bowl and just go back and forth. Oh my goodness. Okay, I wanna show you how I like to serve this. You can use a spoon and take out sort of rustic scoops or you can be nice and tidy, and just cut a big old rectangle. Mmm, look at this, that bread is so soft in there. So to garnish, I just like to do a little light sprinkling of powdered sugar. Oh my gosh, love that. And then these pretty little lemon slices, just to make it look extra special. Lemon blueberry French toast, guys. How easy was that to put together? And if you put it in the fridge the night before, it makes your brunch morning that much easier. I have to try this. Oh. Oh, divine. Gosh, that tastes like it's from a nice little French bistro in Oklahoma. <laughs>